What's up everybody, Fusion here with another video. Now this video we have is just my very first Lego Ninjago movie blind bags opening for you guys right now. Now before I get to opening these blind bags, I do want to say sorry for not putting any videos out. I did go to a really sad moment, uh, like quite a while ago. Um, so I'm really I'm sorry for the lack of videos and stuff like that. Um, it's going to be like this until maybe uh, I have break from school. Um, so yeah, so I'm really I'm sorry. But anyways, let's just get on to the. Right video. now we do have five blind bags. Now um, I didn't want to get more than five because I it was going to be so much money on my mom and she already has spent a lot on me for today. We're going to start from right to left. So this one's gonna be open up first, and then that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Okay, but I, the ones that did want was Jay, Zane, Cole, one with the hoodie, and I think Misako is in one of them. Um, I don't really know. My mom did found Mia, um, so uh, let's try to see if we got the characters that I did want. Um, so if if I didn't, then it's all right. I mean, snooze you lose, right? Let's cut this thingy off. Okay, I didn't look inside there, alright? Didn't look inside. Oh. That's how you know it's Misako. Okay. <laughs> so, like I said, this is actually my first time getting one of these blind bags um, openings from you guys. So, don't worry, I didn't get any other ones. Actually, this thing is actually pretty smaller than we usually are used to getting. But this... These are all the characters that you do get in this blind bag series. And then here is the back of where how you assemble assemble all these minifigures. Here is Coco, or as people do call her Misako. Um, the Misako that's in the Lego Ninjago movie, not from the show. But I think she's actually a really great character. Yes, the design is new for us. Um, I do have the Misako from the Lego Ninjago TV show as well. Now, she does come with a great um, hair as well. Her hair piece is actually really, really great. And then she does come with this purse right here. It's just like a velvet kind of color, a more reddish kind of color. And then you can see her name tag right there. It does say Coco. As you can see, and then the torso printing is actually not that bad, and she does have leg, de leg detailing as well. I'm sorry about that. Then her face is actually pretty good as well. It's kind of a little creepy, um, but there is actually no double-sided face, and this is actually one easy way to get Coco in this kind of form. The other kind of way is a little bit more harder and more expensive as well, and that is from the Lego Ninjago Next bag we have is, if I can get it, this one right here. To see what we have in this bag. Gosh, my fingers get stuck in the dang scissors. Oh, we do have Cole! Okay, we actually are off to a good start. Now, right here now. we have is Cole. Now, this is a really rocking out dude. And as you guys don't really know, Cole is a really big fan of hard rock. And as in the show, he was actually a big fan of soft rock. So I'm pretty, pretty kind of a. Amazed that they actually did make a little sim similarity from their personality in the show and also from the movie. Now his torso does say a ACDC, I believe, so it is a rock band. It does have a really nice hairpiece. It's not much as the Cole hairpiece that we are actually used to, but did they did kind of have like a little long longer kind of hairpiece that we actually do get. Which is like this, but in a different style. Now he does come with this really cool radio, and I'm pretty sure we did get a radio like this um, from this other kind of blind bag series as well. It's with this uh, rapper kind of dude. As you can see, he does have this world, world tour kind of um, printing in the back of his shirt. It does say 1985, so I'm pretty sure 1985. That band uh, totally sold out their tickets. On to the third blind bag opening. Now, hopefully this is kind of one of the ones that I did want. Whoa. That was paper right there. Okay. Got to make sure I don't cut anything. Actually, I'm not going to cut what this is. Open it like this. And we did get Zane. Holy cow. Okay. This minifigure was really hard to find, honestly. This minifigure, oh my gosh. Give me this 
the highest stress level Now here ever. we have is our friendly neighborhood robot Zane, or Ninjoid Zane, if you wanted to call him that. Now he does come with a really, really great to torso detailing. I really do like this style. Um, they kind of did get it as the one in the show as well, but it's not kind of a detailing as that. And he does have some right white pants with great detailing as well. Does have a belt going around the pants area as well, but nothing with the side pa pants um, printing at all. But he does have this great feet foot printing as well. And then you do get that nice looking smile of his. Then he does come with his bag, um, like if he's traveling or something. Um, I don't know really why he's um, having that bag, but yeah, he does come with this really odd hair piece. Um, as you can see, he doesn't have any back printing on his torso, so that's pretty uh, a downfall right there. And he does have this light blue kind of now on to the second to last blind bag opening right here. Now, hopefully, this is these two are like the ones I actually do want. Whoa, we got garment on. Now here is the lovely, lovely PJ'd Volcano Garmadon here. Now he actually did mistake in me because I thought this was Lloyd Garmadon with his hoodie and the nice really good printing bowl and spoon as well. But I guess it was little Garmy. I mean he's not little, he's pretty tall. But anyways, I actually really do like this figure out, really. Um, I, the printing is actually really nice on the torso, um, as you can see whenever I take off the spoon in the bowl. Does come with two torsos, as you can see. Then this great helmet, as we do get in some of the sets, and then that good-looking face printing as well. Um, there's really nothing in the back, as you can see. We do have this um, printing kind of thing that we actually did get uh, in the show whenever Garbodon was in his evil form. Of course, and then he does have leg printing as well. And I do like how they have um, that, like, I think this is kind of like a half torso kind of printing, as you could say. Come on, get off. Yeah, this is actually half of a torso. That's actually pretty cool. I actually did not even know that. But they keep that detailed thing going down all the way to right here. And there's really nothing uh, out in the back. That hat is just keep on coming off. And here you have this really nice sand kind of green color with the wave kind of design going all around the bowl. And then we do have this silver spoon and uh, I, I, I think this might be one of the first spoons that we have ever gotten used the to. The last and final blind bag that we have for the Lego Ninjago movie. Now hopefully this is actually Jay. Because I've been wanting him for quite a while already. Like, I don't know it's something about him. I mean, yes, he's my favorite character. Uh, not my favorite. But yeah, maybe my favorite character in the TV show. And also my favorite ninja as well. Let's see if we did get him or not. Okay. Some pieces were stuck. I don't know why. And yes. I got this minifigure right. We have is Jay right here. Now he is looking really, really great. Honestly, I really do love this minifigure, and I'm sorry about the shadow. It's his phone that's doing it. There you go. Now you have a good look at it. And his, of course, selfie stick and his phone that has his picture on it, which I really do love. Now I really do love this detailing. <coughs> I'm really sorry about that. Um, detailing on this phone. The nice printed piece is really, really great for us. Um, I think this is like one of the first um, times we ever did get a phone like this, except for the one in the Ninjago City Chase. Um, that one is just like the regular kind of phone, but this one is like an iPhone, as you can see. Now, Jay does come with this orange scarf around his neck, just uh, resembling some style that his parents actually did want him to get into. And also, Jay actually did like style as well, and also got advice from his parents about style for school, so he could be like one of the cool kids. Anyways, his hair pieces is actually really, really great. I mean, it's different from the other hair piece we actually do get, but I think it's really great to say that 
I really do like this style, but I think the color could have been maybe this kind of color. Um, I don't really know. But tell me in the comments what you guys think. Um, but really, I do love this face. I mean, it's so cute and adorable, to be honest. Just the J that we always are used to, honestly. And in the movie, he is going to be funny. I don't know about really funny, but I'm pretty sure all the ninjas in the movie are going to be quite hilarious as well. There's nothing in the back, as you can see. He does have pants detailing as well. You can see where he puts his hands for the pockets and stuff. Now, here is the little lightning boy without his orange scarf. And now, as you can see, his torso ain't that bad at, at all without the scarf. Um, But I guess his parents are actually really great about the scarf giving to him. Um, because without the scarf, it's alright. Um, He does get this almost like a lightning kind of mark. Um, I don't really know if it's supposed to be a lightning mark or not but he does have orange in as well um don't really know why but i guess that guess it kind of does go good with the orange scarf now here are the great lego ninjago minifigures that we did get in those blind bags now my greatest one actually has to be jay for some reason i don't know why but my second favorite has to be garmadon um, I really do love him. Um, I kind of am. Uh, I kind of am glad that I got Garmadon instead of Lloyd. Um, I, I don't know why, but I really do love this Garmadon um, minifigure. I mean, I did not get any of the other Garmadons from the Lego Ninja movie line, so this is actually my first Lego Lego Garmadon minifigure from the Lego Ninja movie line. And then Zane, Cole, and Misako are also a great minifigures as well. Now this is an easier way to get Misako. And then a really great way to get these two in their casual outfits and also Jay as well. Now for Kai, for his casual outfit, you do have to get the Ninjago City set. And with the Lloyd and Nia, you do have to get the Ninjago City Chase. Now those are really um, easy to get uh, casual characters, but for Kai, it's going to be really difficult to even get him in. So I hope you guys liked this video. Like and subscribe for more LEGO Ninjago Stop Motions or LEGO Stop Motions in general. Um, Lego reviews or Lego Ninjago reviews as well. Um, see you guys next time. Bye!